hi and welcome to my second video I know that I said that my second video was going to be on Wednesday after my first Slim and Wild weigh-in but I just thought that I wanted to let you know exactly how my first meeting went what my thoughts are and how I've got on today for it being my first day um, so I went to my meeting last night and everyone was lovely and the leader or the consultant whatever you want to call her she was lovely as well and I walked in very nervous um, it's a natural reaction I think when you're about to join a slimming place and you have no idea who anyone is and no idea if you're going to like it and you are by yourself and it can be intimidating walking into a room going yes I am fat and I need some help and I want to lose weight um, so I think after you've done that step the rest is so much easier um, I sat down next to a lovely lady who told me all about the plan which needed my full attention as it is a little bit more confusing and it was more confusing than what I thought it was going to be um, coming from Weight Watchers where we did um, points and then it changed to pro points a little bit later on I thought I can take on a plan like this I'm going to be able to understand it and go ahead and give it a go but it was more confusing than what I thought it was going to be uh, so I went in and I got given my booklety thing which looks like this um, and in this it flips open and there's a number of booklets and things for you to read which was really good and diary sheets so you know exactly what you're eating um, and then another thing inside it was this book this is the book where when you achieve something they put all your stickers here which is what I'm looking forward to um, so that's what you get and I thought to myself last night, I need to read this book because I need to know exactly what I'm doing with this plan. Um, it's not just points and pro points anymore. It's um, sins, super free, free foods, um, speedy foods, super speedy foods. It's a lot more complicated than what I initially thought, but I'm going to still give it a go. And I thought I'm going to get prepared. And, you know, what's better than taking a recipe out of the book that they give all beginning people? So... Last night I looked at this recipe for this thing up the top here. It is a beautiful looking porridge um, oats with fruit and things. So I thought that you could have that for breakfast. It was quite straightforward. You know, don't want to make it too complicated and go for the full English breakfast that you could potentially have. And I thought I'm going to go for that. So last night I put my porridge oats and my water into the bowl like it is directed here and I left it overnight in the fridge. Uh, this morning I woke up and I thought, guess what, I'm super excited to start my journey. Um, I'm going to go down, I'm going to add some bananas to this, make it a bit interesting, and I'm going to eat that. It was disgusting. I've never tasted anything like it in all my life. It was just like watery oats, and I just had to save the banana and eat that and just leave the rest because I wasn't eating that. Um, so it didn't start off fantastic and then I went for lunch with my friend and I got a grilled halloumi salad which was fine um, so that was my healthy A or B I can't remember which one it was for the cheese and then I went for my super free foods for my lettuce and onion and peppers and salad-y stuff um, so that's that and then for dinner I'm just going to literally just keep it simple and just have a turkey steak and some vegetables it's not been hard today to be honest I've not been left hungry which is fantastic. Um, so if we go back to the meeting, um, what I did like about it was there was um, quite a bit, not bad competition, but I think that there was quite a bit of competition and I like that. Um, I like to feel like people w wish you to do well because I think sometimes when I've gone to a wish meeting before and you've had like almost a bad week or a week that's not been fantastic and you have her who's lost three pounds or four pounds and you kind of think, Mm, right but what I liked about this was the competition was they split the, the meeting into two and then um, each team you get an amount of points and then the, the team that wins you win and you just have the glory as far as I'm aware and I like that and another thing that I really liked was you have slimmer of the week which is something that isn't done at Weight Watchers at all and it's where they encourage you to bring in a piece of fruit like an apple or an orange or something and you place it into this bowl and every week someone wins this bowl of fruit um, and it's for the person who has 
um, lost. I think that there's a few rules on it, so you know, not everyone can be slimmer of the week. But you have to, there's please come outside. But you have to uh, lost last week and then this week to get slimmer of the week, and you have to have something else as well. Oh, and it can't be your first week, so that's me out of luck for next week. And I just thought that that was a really sweet idea, and I think that that's really nice and that's really quite encouraging. Um, I did like the leader, I thought that she was very enthusiastic and you know people seem to really believe in Slimming World from what I've looked at on YouTube and what I looked at on online and um, there's been quite positive stuff about it and whether it be from people saying you know I've lost half a stone in my first week, I've lost a pound and a half in my first week, um, people seem to be losing weight on this plan and that is enough for me. Um, I am really excited about it and I am going to continue on. And I will let you know how I get on um, on Wednesday and wish me luck and I will speak to you then. But in the meantime, I'm still going to give it a go and I'm still going to try and get my head around all of these words that I've never come across before. And I'm not trying that porridgey thing. If anyone knows how you are meant to do it or how it's meant to taste, do let me know because I'm quite gutted that that was the first thing that I ate out of a Slimming World book and it didn't taste what I wanted it to taste like at all but do let me know um, if you know what I did wrong or how I could make it better do let me know as it would be quite interesting and I will speak to you on Wednesday night after I've had my first ever weighing wish me luck for the rest of the week and I will see you soon bye